Hey folks, new episode day. Back at Target to start the episode. What are we doing? You found it all last week. Well, there is one item I realized I didn't find, which is like the foot enforcer in the red colors. Uh, and if I could find another samurai space two pack, I might get one or three more of those. Um, but so we're going to start at Target. It is spring break. Uh, I'm on my lunch break. Um, Kai wants to go to the mall with some friends. That may happen here in a little while. Um, and I don't know what else is going to go on. Kai has her championships coming up this weekend. Um, so, and it is WrestleMania weekend coming up as well. So I don't know really what this is going to hold. I do still have those customs <laughs> laying on the table. Uh, I need to get those put up and displayed. Uh, I'm still waiting on some more customs coming from Chelsea. I want to show you those. Um, so a little bit of everything in this video, but we're starting with Target. My normal Target that I come to the most. They did not have anything last time I was here. All right, this is where I got the G.I. Joe stuff. So hopefully they'll have Hall of Fame. Some optimism. Got a basket. Got a basket. Looking at the new Pokemon. Kai's been saying she wanted to get back into opening some Pokemon. Looks like there'll be no shortage here. That's good. Uh, I forgot there could be the Bison and Dalsam Jada toys. That'd be great to find. That would please me. Of course, it is spring break. So it is a busy time to be here. None of this looks like any of the new stuff. So no indication there of positive things. That's a lot of grown-ups in the action figure aisle. That could be a positive indication. We'll come over here. Marvel Legends. Thanos. Let's see if they've got... Oh, that's new G.I. Joe right there. The Iron Grenadiers. Red Casey and the Wanderer. I don't have that yet. It's a temptation. It's a temptation. Viper. I might get that. If I get anything else, I may grab that to go along with. Oh, Optimus Primal Studio Series. I do want that. I'm going to wait for another uh, toys sale before I do that. Let's walk over here to the um, a bunch of people. Let's go here to this version of the NECA section. Let's see what we're working with. None of that looks new either. Three pack, shredder, clones, multicolor. Nothing there. All right, nothing new there. Wrestling, oh, look at that. The box set, that's something people are looking for, right? Jitsu. Oh, see? I was gonna say, now I'm on the lookout for wave two, and here's wave two. Beast Man. Shredder. Ram Man. Is that the three of them? Oh, there's a Raphael. Is there no Raphael? Ah, poopy. Somebody got the Raphael already. Diarrhea sausages. I think this teenagers on spring break messing in the toy aisle. I guess that's what I'm doing too, technically. Am I going to buy these? Yes or no? Leave it in the comments. Do you think I'm purchasing items here? Yes. Or no, a diamond level creeper. A big creeper. That's actually kind of cool. All right, let's go over there. Neck of Funko section. It is not promising looking. It's so full that I don't even know where they would put the Hall of On stuff if they had it. So what I'm looking for is a Mirage red shirt foot enforcer, which doesn't seem to be here. Nothing here. All the Chun-Li. Hmm. Looks like failure. We saw that movie. I guess that was in the last episode or the new Kong Godzilla. Not Godzilla vs. Kong, just Godzilla Kong. Look at that big, I don't want a final form, Majin Buu. I would get a shampoo bottle. Big Boo. Naruto. Sasuke. Sheldon Cooper as the Flash. Look at these Demon Slayer bigger ones. I don't think, I don't, I don't think I've been getting Kai of those. We have too many Demon Slayer things. Alas. 
think those folks right there digging through are looking for Holofon. I think they are. I haven't seen that before. It's actually cool. $30 though. Figure that may get clearanced. But it is cool. It's been a fair amount of new Lego sets recently. I think that's pretty new. Kingfisher. A Polaroid. I don't think any of those are new. I don't know. The shield may be. The family tree. It's kind of neat. That is kind of neat, actually. Focus Poke, a Viking Village. I think that's pretty new. But not buying any of that today. Will I buy anything today? Still don't know. I've got them in my thing. If there's Raphael who's here, I probably would do it. The fact that one's missing makes me go, eh, maybe wait. But that could be a mistake. Could be a mistake. There we go. Watch the movie. Giant Godzilla Evolved. Giant Kong with Beast Glove. Titan Evolution Godzilla. The Scar King with the Whip Slash. Heat Ray. And those look like pretty. It makes those to oh, playmates. Those just kind of look like kids' toys. I've never really seen a King Kong or Godzilla that I loved. Like the monster art stuff is way too small. They have Mezco stuff. Uh, there's a big Kong, maybe Mezco, but I've never seen, like, the way that some, some of the dinosaurs get really good in Jurassic Park. I've just never seen a Godzilla or Kong that was the scale I liked that I would have bought. Well, did you guess correct? <laughs> Sacking it! Oh. I would have much preferred to find uh, those five days ago, or a week ago, when the coupon still rolling up that i got any poor use of that coupon i think i used it nine times <laughs> the 20 20 dollars off i grabbed the gi joe too i showed you i did say if i was gonna buy anything i was gonna buy i would go back and pick that up uh, so i got the three turtles of gray skull so i just need Raphael from wave two and i got the metalhead iron grenadier deluxe figure uh, the turtles are great, I just don't come across. Uh, like we talked about in the last video. Hold on, let me get in the car. Uh, so, Doug, why did you buy that stuff without a coupon or clearance or anything like that? Just the Target discount. Uh, well, so the turtles are great, because I don't encounter them. And I looked on Amazon and, like, Big Bad and all that. And they're showing, like, May or June uh, dates. They're not showing right now, which is the beginning of April. Not that that matters, because they're just going to go in the garage with the others. Uh, I have nowhere to put them right now, but I think I want those. <laughs> I think. And uh, I'm just going to grab one to see them, because it doesn't seem like they're in abundance. Um, I only bought one of the G.I. Joe, not two. I have been doing better. I've only been buying one. Uh, I need to offload my uh, Mint in Box G.I. Joe classified collection. I have one loose and one in box of all of that. I need a offload that if somebody wants a full run of like one to 100 one to 108 i think uh, plus a lot of the variants meaning like different color eye type variants i have a lot of that uh let me know but um i'm more understanding that we're at that phase now where all the product that Hasbro, Mattel, and Super 7, and NECA, and all these companies made um, in 2021, 2022, things that entered production at those times uh, that then didn't sell and were clearanced out in the Christmas of 2023, right? So let's say pre, um, collecting was booming 2020, 2021. And so pre-orders are high for stuff in 2022, and that stuff goes into production and it shows up in 2023 and a lot of people have stopped collecting and bailed, canceled their pre-orders, canceled whatever. And all that stuff ended up at Ollie's and Ross. And I think that we're now in the time where companies will not produce as much because they know that uh, demand is down. We are far enough away from the boom for them to know that demand is down, which means supply will be down. And these are things that I want or think I want or currently collect. And uh, I don't want it to pay aftermarket if I decide I want them. Can always return them for 90 days. 
Uh, but they're not, these are mass market, $19, you know, not expensive things. Um, I'd rather buy them when I see them and uh, not have to work, not play the game of I hope they're at Ollie's, the bargain outlet, in seven months. And then what actually happens is they're just sold out in April and you never find them. And now you got to pay $80 each if you want it. So I'm just going to play that game. Um, I do, you know, I give myself a budget every month for uh, stuff and I'm not buying near as much as I used to. So I grab it. Hopefully it's, uh, it works out. I need to find the Raphael. It does give me something to look for when I'm going in and targets for these holophone stupid things. So I need the Raphael from wave two. Hopefully I'll find that. I need the foot enforcer from the holophone, the Mirage. Uh, and that's it. I think so. I may go to another target in this video. We'll see. But back home, back to work until I uh, get off work and take Kai to the mall. So that's successful. Successful. It's much later. The girls are in the car over there. Kaya and her friend Alex. And they are uh, going to the mall, which is over there. Here in just a second. But uh, since we're by the Mall of Georgia, Mall of Georgia, Target, to see if they have whatever it is I'm looking for. Uh, foot Enforcer and Raphael. It's the Kirby Hawaiian Claws. That brought us good luck last time. All the kai didn't, they don't want to come in there gossiping, talking about boys. WrestleMania week, look at all the rock. <laughs> Pop that TV right now. All rock all the time. Oh, it was for Papa Tui. I'm actually amusing Papa Tui. It's his uh, men's like deodorants and body wash and face care. I like it. You can get it here. I meant to talk about that in the last video, but couldn't find any. There's a little one right here, so I'm gonna wait a second. Does not look like towards B.I.G. that Holothon has been here yet. Togies. I don't see any Jada toys at all. This is the one that has multiple, the, the most multiple sections of all the multiple sections. Terminate the turtles. Yeah, none of that is uh, holophone related. Diver. Uh, another diver. And then this dude. Duke. No Scarlet. I am going to look out for another Scarlet for it, buddy. There's that. I'll show you again. Pick that up. It's cool. Try not to get copyrighted because the music's loud. There's people. Fright features. Uh, I know people are really excited about the Scarlet Spider. Is that from this wave? I can get that off. Oh, I don't know. Apparently, it's a difficult one to find. Let's see. Man, I feel like the music's going to absolutely pop me with the copyright clearance. No holophone. Nothing neck of there. Lego, let's see if maybe they'll have Raphael. Turtle stuff. Bunch of mouse jaw. And no. Speaking of Lego, I don't think I've seen that. That's got to be new. Insect collection. It's pretty cool, too. I like the, that kind of stuff they're doing in the art. There's the new Batman the Animated Series artwork that looks so cool. That typewriter's cool down there. A lot of cool stuff. It's a bust here at this Target. I just heard a little boy say to, oh, I bet this is something that people want or someone interested in. Phase one clone trooper lieutenant and Ahsoka's clone trooper two pack. Just sitting here with the spider. This is the one that has the Disney area. It's probably over there. I ain't pay attention to it. I heard a little boy tell his mom and grandma, oh, you will buy this. You better buy it. I'm like, what? I would have got DDT'd so fast. I've just been left in Target. You live in Target now. Uh, I may try to go to a Walmart. Not right now, but in the video. Because my understanding is the Walmart had the Krang uh, from this Motu line. A Walmart special, a Walmart uh, collector con. I didn't buy it, but it could be in store. That could happen too. All right. Let me get the girls to the mall. It's the carnival at the fair. Mm. Or at the, not at the fair, at the mall. At the mall. Here are the girls, but it's the carnival. 
Hmm. Girls oil. Cotton candy. The girls don't seem interested. They just dipped. So I guess we're not going there. Now I have been here with with these with Kai and Alex recently and walked around everywhere. I don't know that there's anything terribly interesting, but we will. Here I am. Here you are. Are you going to the carnival? What's that RJ shirt all about? I'm glad you asked. This is a shirt by the amazing and wonderful and talented and incredible Ricky Jammer. <laughs> and you just heard of his merch line that he dropped recently. And it just came in last night. And I, I love it. And it's uh, amazing. And I. You got a D&D &D shirt on. You should. You should. You should see it. You just looked at your shirt like, I do? I don't know. I've just been rocking it. I don't know. You should listen to Ricky Jamarai's podcast. We listen to Ricky Jamarai's often. Specifically, the album December 13th, 1998, because it's my favorite album by him. There's Ray! All right. Away they go. We do. She very much likes Ricky Jamarai, who I think is like her age in the UK and records albums and puts them out. And I don't know how she found them, but she's into it and makes her happy. So it's a good thing. Character world. Got some new stuff out here. A quarter scale. What's that? Mark 43. Is that right? The thousand sunny. Look at that. $430 from one piece. Kaya has those. Is that a quarter scale Christian Bale? Or is that like a statue? It looks like a hot toy. A big Deadpool. Some newer things. That, I mean, new things that are on display. I don't know that they're new. I do not need to go in there and buy that VR. They don't make the lenses to fit my eyes yet anyway. Even though the PSVR does. I want it, but I gotta, I gotta resist. Just walking around the mall aimlessly. I'm only gonna be here for two hours. I have nothing to do. Nothing I need to shop for, nothing I'm hunting for. Like they won't sell that Raphael or anything Jada here. I don't. Well, I say that, I don't think so. Maybe GameStop, but I think that's just Walmart Target. So, I've got my AirPods. I'll probably just chill out, listen to a podcast at some point, maybe get a coffee. I don't know. Just kind of moseying right now, seeing if there's anything interesting to see. Popping beards, which really does surprise me that it's still open. It's like... Very rarely more than one or two people in there. I say as multiple people go in there. I don't know. Let's see if there's anything in there. That's not a thing you see that often. Loose pops for sale. This had been the owners. Like, I can't imagine they accept trade-ins. A boo shirt. They do randomly have a Super 7 stuff. Just a random <laughs> assortment. And every once in a while there's NECA stuff here. Yeah. That's just weird, like that. I mean, it just must be the owner stuff. Cyclone pop there. I'm showing you that, because that is the, one of the tributes I got from Nate Dooms, the uh, Mythic Legions that I have. You can see the character design. I have a web store from him already. That way you know the character design, generally. I was gonna say, I don't think there's any even, like, services in here. I don't even know if there's a nail service, but I do think there might be a barber. I could use a haircut. Maybe I'll do that if I have time. I don't see any more nails places. So there used to be the place where the fish would eat the stuff off your feet. I would have definitely done that. Guess I could get the back massage. Why well, don't anybody want to go to the carnival? Have my AirPod in? I'm not sure that I've ever recorded video with the AirPod in. I have no idea if the audio sounds good or if it's uh, not synced or anything. I'm just going to listen to this and find out. Sounded pretty good to me. I'm going to keep it going. Hooters makes you happy since 83. Country Club. Spencer Gifts. Definitely not a place we'll be filming into. No. We've got a hot topic. When I was growing up, maybe some of y'all, Spencer Gifts is a place that you uh, went for the naughty. You tried not to get caught in there. Or if you want to get your tongue pierced. <laughs> I think it's still the same. A Magneto shirt's pretty I guess with X-Men 97, some X-Men stuff. My dude, Dingy. Nothing in the hot topic we need, but uh, mad injections? And I was testing the audio. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's like a 
Batman Rogues Gallery last supper call of something? Uh, listen to the audio from different clips. Oh, yeah. That's why I've got several thousand of you lovely Big Dub fans that watch our videos every week. And that number will never be 50,000 because we just kind of do whatever I'm doing for real. There ain't nothing that terribly interesting happening right now because I'm bored, so you're probably bored too. I'm trying to go into GameStop and Box Lunch see if maybe there's something interesting there. I believe this. You see this? Exotic Treats. It's a little kiosk that just says Exotic Treats and you scan a QR code and they hand you something. I think that's dubious. You should have a GameStop. Five dollar off. Coupon. Although I never use them each month. Naked salmon down there. Naked. But maybe we'll find something in here. Doc Onk. Uh, Gojo up there. All my import stuff now. I'm doing pretty good about getting from Ami Ami at the low cost. In fact, I think an Ami Ami. Oh, see, that tempts me because that saber tooth looks great. And I don't believe that Mayfax is ever going to get to a larger body like that. That cards are nice. The Logan. I'm not going to buy a Marvel Legend. How much is this thing? Free? I bet this thing's like 60 bucks. I do think that saber tooth looks good. I do skull ship. Bye. It's gonna be too expensive. $49.99 and I'll have a $5 coupon. $45 just for saber tooth. Stay strong, dog. Don't do it. A few things I like. The series. We just saw that last episode. We haven't watched today's yet. It is a Wednesday. This diamond million dollar man with like the money coming out of his hand. It's kind of cool. That Triple H is kind of cool. I don't need to buy a pop either. Oh man, the huge daddy. See, if that's why I didn't buy, I think last time we were here, um, they had some of the seven deadly sins. They're gonna artist proof over there. Paint that thing up. Cause then I have to get them all. But that big one is cool. I wonder if they have any of the others. I wonder if they still have the Meliodas somewhere in here. I resisted. The Seven Deadly Sins Pops really do interest me because we watch that show as a family and Kaya gets a poster signed, which is, uh, which is cool. When we go to conventions and they have a voice actor, she has a poster that has all the sins. It's like four or five of them signed, various voice actors. I would love to get the pop signed of that, but then we'd have to repeat. I don't know that we're going to do that. King is my favorite. If I found just King, I might get it. They all are easy enough to get online, so it's not like I had to buy it when I see it. Look at these bags that are like clocks. It's unique. They're pretty. <laughs> Let's make a package deal. Anyway, King is my favorite. Because his power comes out. He's like the strongest fighter in the world when he's defending like the people he cares about but he can't like he's weak if he's just fighting selfishly for himself and I like that very much um anyway let's go into Go Calendar just in case they have Raphael it'll be $70 though NECA stuff there's not a person in here just me very quiet hopefully you can hear me they may have the King Pop, I guess. I don't see it. I guess this is what it sounds like when there isn't music in a store. Which is kind of unique. I don't see any. Okay, here we go. No, they don't have the mode two on. That Raphael, though. I mean, those are some newer rounding stuff. They're just too expensive. AirPod back out. I can hear the difference. Let's go into box launch. So the clearance was on sale, so I'll see if there's anything that tickles the old fancy. Look at that freezer. Oh, package too. Still don't have these two dudes. Not at the clearance yet, though. Maybe they'll get there. I did not know these existed. Craig, Roman, Kendall, Shiv. I should get Roman. I have a Bobby Axelrod and a Tony Soprano. I should get a Roman to go with those guys to guide me. 
Logan too. It's all six of them. There's a day about 10 years ago, I'd have been so thrilled at this mall to find all these. Something like this, a whole run all at once. I'd have been so happy. Well, New York Giants quarterback, Tommy DeVito. It's back 10 years, 12 years even ago. My sister Kimberly and I, we'd come here. We were both collecting pops pretty heavy <clears throat> in like 2000. Right as they started to come out, like 12, 13, 14, 15. <clears throat> and that GameStop I was in is the one where we first met James a decade ago. And then there would be other places in here, Hot Topic and so forth, Disney Store, that you could get pops. And... Uh, you didn't know, like those are before, like James is who taught us to start pre-ordering those things. You just didn't know. Think Geek was in this mall. So that was cool, like I didn't know that existed. I love Succession. I'm tempted to buy those. And uh, that's the thing that Funko does. I wouldn't buy Succession action figures, but I might buy a Roman Roy pop. I think Funko can do well if they focus on that stuff. But, you know, like you'd find things you didn't know were going to come out and existed. And so, so much of that is gone in collecting now where we all just know everything that's coming for the next year, several years. It's not a lot of surprises because of all the name teases and image-only teases and all that stuff. That's what um, I like about the figure of Scara with the Horseman. You didn't know it existed, and like a week later, you have it. I think that's cool. But... That was fun. They still may go back and get them. I don't know. It was fun. I'm back to where we came in at, Character World, right there. Just on the bottom floor. What the whole thing. I do think that's at Barber Poles. Right down there. So, maybe I'll get my hair cut. I guess not. At the braid shop on the other side of the escalator. Over there. Guess they at the carnival too. I just been sitting here in the massage chair, <laughs> staring at the closed barbershop. I watched uh, on Forish Horseman Apart they revealed the Legion's Con Day One exclusive, which is a tribute, a two pack tribute figures to Chris and George, which are really cool and a great builder set too. Lots of stuff you can do with it. But congrats to those guys getting tribute figures. That's really cool. I'm funny. Jeremy trying to coordinate a surprise announcement on their own show. It's funny. Uh, we're probably going to leave here pretty soon. We've been here for about an hour and a half, so the girls got about 20 more minutes. And then we're going to head. And I don't know what the next clip will be. We'll find out together. We are leaving. Uh, probably just this week for spring break. No one wanted to go to Carnival! Just a little pit stop. On the way home, you know. Since we pass a Walmart on the way home. May as well just see if they have Krang, right? Or Raphael. They can have Raphael. They can have him. Anything out here? I was here pretty recently. Easter. Oh, we didn't film that when we were uh, Easter basket shopping. But I don't remember if I looked here or not. I didn't film anything. It's a very loaded aisle. Um... Is this where the Motu Turtles would even be? That Krang is probably in a box. And I, I don't know if that's been in stores yet, but I know it at least has a chance to be in stores. There's that guy, he's pretty cool. Maybe this is the wave. Maybe this means the Scarlet Spider was here. He's kind of cool. If the Sabretooth was like that, I would get it. If it was standalone like that. I do actually still have some Spider-Man Marvel Legends villains for pictures if I ever get to do it. Not been a thing that I've, uh, I mean, honestly, I just haven't prioritized it. I could do it. Just got to spend the time to do it. See the, there's Motu. But that's not, I don't know where they would put the, I don't know. Because this Motu type collaboration deal would have been with wrestling. I think it would be with Turtle, so I don't think they have it. Take a quick look. Wow, King Shark build a figure. Quick look at the NECA Funko. Just because uh, we're here. <laughs> no other reason. I don't think there's anything at a Walmart NECA Funko I would need. Or at a Walmart in general, it doesn't even... I mean, if that was, like, clearanced, I would get it. 
No Kino. I mean, I have it, but there's the foot soldiers. Secret Ooze foot soldiers, Super 7 stuff. No. Splinter. That's a good Splinter. Slash. I mean, so they have some turtle stuff. I just have it all. Oh, is this Shredder in Hell clearance? Or did somebody, like, do something to it? Oh, it's squished. Is this cool? Don't copy, copy. I mean, if you're gonna buy it and open it, good price. All right, we're gonna move forward. Probably move to tomorrow, where uh, hopefully we're looking at some customs, getting them on a shelf, and what have you. Tonight we're gonna watch Shogun. We're gonna watch X Men '97, and whatever else, and hang out with the family. But uh, check back in in the next clip. That's a big box, buddy. Especially from there. I do not know what is in this package. Uh, what, what did I order that's that? Oh, it's this thing from One Piece. This thing is, oh my gosh, I didn't know I had bought the thing that's the size of a uh, Shinron. A Great 8 Vegeta. Holy cow. What? This is silly. Natalie's doing some carpet cleaning. I guess I pre-ordered three of those guys. I think they were maybe a exclusive in Japan or an Ami Ami exclusive. This I did buy because they had a, this is a trunks I don't actually have. The only trunks I don't have, the original release of future trunks. Um, because I'm trying to get the whole set. I'm only missing like five or six, but there's a Goku that's incredibly expensive, like thousands of dollars sealed. I don't have. And then the one piece I am pre-ordering, because we do like it, we're just not to any of these characters. And I don't want to pay the aftermarket, but it's like the cheese tax. It's the next morning. Yes, I got a big Ami Ami box. Um, I think I told you, I'm, I'm trying to keep current on the one piece pre-orders so that when I do get current, I want it on the play aftermarket. Anyway, uh, I think today we're going to uh, try to go through the customs, get them on the shelf. Um, I do have some stands for the legions I got at Toylana. I need to get some things resorted. A little minor, a little minor cleanup. A couple figures have fallen down, that kind of thing. And um, I don't know what else. But got to work first. Back on the move, not to the NECA Funko section. Not to the NECA Funko section. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm hoping these customs from Jesse come in. He mailed them almost a week ago. We have issues at a post office in Atlanta. In fact, if you Google Atlanta post office delays, you'll find it. There's lots of discussion about it because I think even Congress is getting involved. We have this distribution center kind of uh, like west-ish of the city. I think it's Palmetto is the, the, the town that is new and they closed like four other centers to do that and it wasn't ready and there's training issues and personnel issues and technology issues and so mail will come in and sit in the Atlanta area for weeks so like this package from Jesse uh, which is coming out of the Midwest area I think I think Jesse's in the Midwest I'm not, honestly not sure um, where Jesse is but it uh, gets into like Metro Atlanta in like a day. And then a week later, it's still sitting somewhere. Very frustrating. I had something that I ordered. What was it? Oh, it was just an eBay item that sat at that post office for two weeks. It doesn't move at all. It's very, very frustrating. And it's causing a lot of issues in the city because people, I guess, some people still mail in like a rent check. Or they get their checks for, um, you know, whatever their government assistance programs may be in the mail. Or businesses that are doing business through the mail. And these things are getting delayed for long periods of time. And it's impacting people's opportunity to do business. So it, it's a problem. Um, so I really don't want to rearrange my custom. I'm going to have to do some minor rearranging with my custom displays to fit all the new ones in. What I think I'm going to do is I still have maybe one that's just a head on a stock body and then the two ogres are just heads on stock bodies I may take those heads off and those bodies out and wait till I have more of an opportunity 
um, to do full customizing and just have the heads kind of displayed by themselves so that I can display the full customs. I really want that shelf to just be all full customs, not just a head, and that's it. So I've got to look through uh, what they are. I do think I have some options um, to do something different uh, like that. But because I have like five customs, I think, coming from Jesse, something like that. Plus, I have the six on the table. So I got to make room for all that. That's what I hope to do in this video. Uh, we also have coming have Kaya's trip out of town for her competition. Uh, that'll probably be a next video if I film anything from that. I will have some time to run around Tennessee. So we'll see. Uh, but right now, I'm going to actually go and get my hair cut since I couldn't do it yesterday with the bar was closed. And uh, then we'll see where we go from there. Uh, we have, we are current on X-Men 97. We watched that last night. It was the episode with Mojo where they get sucked into the video game. And that's awesome. <laughs> it was so much fun. Uh, just made me smile. Because it looked like they were playing the X-Men video game. It was so cool. They got to the six-player cabinet. So much nostalgia there. Uh, and then, of course, the Stormforge start part is the real plot. And that's also really good. And then Shogun, we're current on that. I think there's maybe two or three uh, episodes left. If you're not watching Shogun, tremendously good. Tremendous, tremendous, tremendously good. Um, one of the best shows I've watched in a long time, probably since Succession. Really enjoying that. It's got a couple episodes left where it wraps up and we're at the big. Um, the brother is involved. If you're watching the show, you know where I'm at. And then we did finish Blue Eye Samurai. That's also awesome on Netflix animated show. Not really anime. It's not anime proper, but it's kind of like anime. Awesome show as well. Pretty graphic. Quite graphic. Uh, both explicit and gore. Um, but been a lot of good TV that we've caught up on. So I did want to touch on that. All right, haircut. Hey, <laughs> styling. Back home. I don't remember if I showed you that I had this guy come in. I'm excited for him, but I had my first from the in-stock sale. If you remember a couple episodes ago, I was trying to order pens. I didn't get the big pen set, but these three were the key ones I want to get. I think I already had that one, but the Celtus and then the light and dark pen uh, are all ones I was missing. So let me get these on the pen board, actually. You see how hard I made this for myself. I don't think hard because I think I can just, yeah, see, I can just pull it off the hook. The challenge is going to be, those are all Figura. This is this guy. Yeah, so I have him. Um, I can put Celtus there, I guess. I'm going to end up rearranging these a bunch. Because a lot of these, none of those are official horseman pins. Those are various customizers, pins, and such. But the three I have are horseman pins. But so are all those. So these are all Legion's Con pins. Which Celtus is not a Legion's Con. He was a Power Con. Those are Figura pens, starting with the Krampus. I don't know. I'm just gonna put them up there for now. You see that the fiber, um, plexiglass part is magnetic. You just take it off and just kind of unhook it. You unhook it, put the pin board in, pin it on the back, or you could have it that side, which maybe I should flip it that way. And then I wouldn't have as much of these, like the things sticking out. Maybe I want to do that. There you go. Man, you can fit so many more if you do it the other way. So these are all the like the Cabal, just other customizers and such. And then these are all from the studio. So the new pins there, the Celtus, Four Horsemen. Uh, the, that was the Toy Fair pin. And then all the Figure Obscure with room to add. And then all the Legions Con with room to add. So I wanted to make sure as I got new ones, I wouldn't always have to take them all off and rearrange them. So what do you think? I think they look pretty good. Now I do also have these pins, but these are representative of things I've been at. So I keep them on my lanyard. So when I go to Horseman, like Legion's Con, I can have it on the lanyard. So like that was the intern this year, Legion's Con this year. That was the G-Con uh, at PowerCon um, that we were at with Natalie and Josh Karina. Uh, G-Con this year. This is actually G-Con for the COVID year. So pins were made, but they couldn't have anybody in person. It was virtual, and I was at the virtual one. Shout out to George, hooked me up with that. So uh, I got these on my lanyard for events that I've actually been at, which I think is cool. What's up, man? So, see I'm full. And you see how I have the heads there? 
Those are ones that are just uh, don't have bodies. So these are all full customs. Uh, most of these are, those are all full customs there, except for, well, he's got the feet and the cat head. Uh, so it's not a completely full custom, but it's, uh, it's good enough. Uh, now here, that like Cthulhu back there is just a head. This red demon is just a head. Um, so those bodies, I could do something else with. Uh, the rest of that is all full custom stuff. And then down here, uh, this guy, like Mouth of Sauron looking dude. That's actually only the helmet. It's pop and swap. The rest is a normal figure. And then the heads on the ogres are also just heads on normal figures. So all the ones that are just heads on something. I think I may put the heads up here with all this stuff. Put the bodies into my loose bin until I uh, can do more customizing to them. Or maybe I'll just take them down all together so I know that I've got the body for it. I just need to do something to like the armor or pop and swap or something. Uh, and that should create a little bit more space. So what I would like to do is get these guys all set up the way I'm gonna set them up. And I may even be able to just get them into their new homes and leave space for Jesse's. That's probably gonna happen in next episode, Jesse's, because that stuff's not here yet. I also want to hook up some of my cosmic uh, customs with some shields from Can of Beams. So let's first, uh, yeah, well, let's just get some toys on the table. Okay, we're ready. A little overview. I put his elephant feet on him, so that's how he'll be. I will probably have him on this stand just in case because there's a lot of sculpted parts I don't want to break. He looks awesome. The Cyclo, the, what did I, what is, <laughs> hold, what is his name? I showed you his pop yesterday. Hold on. Yes. Cyclone. Got him with the shield and the kind of rotating thing. Got him armored up with that face. Uh, Orko, got him flying on his stand, wielding a storm. Merman, I'm using the sword and the trident. There's the Orn. I'm just using a little dagger on him because I got to fit him into a difficult shelf upstairs. And then there's the two uh, gobbies. And then I didn't want to show you the can of beam shields. So there's this design I have on this that Scott painted for me, kind of Iron Man design with that shield. And then on the monkey, that is a combination of Scott and Curtis. You got that design. So you see there are two different styles of shields. And they use that peg. See how they have a peg hole? And you just peg it right into the arm. And it looks really cool. Now let's see if I can get them all on the shelf. I did get them all lined up for a yearbook photo. They look kind of interesting and cool together, huh? I think so. This is going to be good enough for now. I freed up some space there, maybe a tiny bit of space there. When Jesse's get here, I'll figure it out. I may have to take some more out. Like that guy in the back, which is like uh, a pop and swap to make Romulus before they reissued Romulus. He may go... This like Templar, dirty Templar skeleton may go. I don't even know where I got that. Uh, but, so I got the goblins in there fine. I've got these dwarves at the front, but I just don't have room. I think I have five customs coming from Jesse. I gotta find room. Um, and then up here, I think this is okay. I put the buzz off wings down. I got Orko flying. Most of those are dubs, except for the Skeletor. Is Eric Miller, obviously uh, it's a zombie. Uh, collab with Kent on that on the Kent pool. It's zombies, a uh, head and feet on that. Kalros, and then that is late night LeBron. No changes up there, but I may change that more. So at least I got them all in here. Let me show you the things I took out. These five, which are all custom painted heads, skin tone matches these things. Uh, I don't know that the skin tone on that one's great. Uh, that one's better. But I've done nothing to the armors. Just a random demon head. That matches really nicely to the armor on him, but it's just the factory. Um, so maybe I could do something different there. And then that just kind of matches there. But I would like to maybe at least change some parts up, do some different things. So I'm gonna take the heads off these, put these in the, in the fodder until we figure it out. So now we have even more <laughs> painted heads ready for a home. At some point I gotta get to work on that. Now to wrap this thing up. I gotta get him into that very full shelf. 
any of the things that have fallen, I'm going to pick up some of them and put on some stands and wrap it up. I almost cussed about 82 times and I lost my man's helmet. I don't know where it went, but it's in there. I think I got it all cleaned up. Up there, Cassia, the red hood, she had fallen. Got her on a stand. These these stands here, these like circle, like kind of sewer street stands are from Andrew. Thanks to that. There was no issues there. She falls, but I have her on one already. No issues on any of that. Uh, down there, a big guy had fallen behind the big horse. Uh, whatever their names were. I don't, a quadron. Got him on a horseman stand, a big one. And no issues anywhere else. I can't find that helmet. I don't know where it went. But I don't really <laughs> feel like looking for it. I'm ready to go relax with the puppy. The girls are at a fundraiser. So I'm just going to hang out with the puppy and we'll wrap this thing up. To the end, another wonderful episode. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, what did we do in this? Oh, well, we went to a lot of Targets and Walmarts. We didn't find the thing we were looking for. Did some hunts, went to the mall, you know, with Kai for a little while and the fit girls. Got these customs looked at, finally put up. Now I'm fully cleaned up after Toy Lanta. I uh, got some new customs coming in that I bought from Jesse. That'll be in the next episode. I think I've got some super, the next wave of Super 7 TMNT coming in in the next episode. And probably Kai's championship, something that we'll do in Tennessee on the next episode. But you'll all find all that next week. Thanks for joining me. Uh, again, kind of low key right now as we get ready for Momocon be in May. That is still probably six, seven episodes away. So hope you're enjoying. I'll talk to you next week. Squeeze it.